Hi, so for my Internet of Things laboratory subject, this is Experiment 3 entitled Sensors and Deputy Microcontroller. Upon opening the PKA file, it brought us to the Cisco Packet Tracer and as you can see here, there are lots of IoT devices and a microcontroller. So I would not be using this simulation here and follow these instructions since i already have my raspberry pi 4 so i would be using that and performing the experiment um on hand and not through the simulation so uh, moving on i would just be doing this part 4 which is the reflection of this pka file or experiment so for part 4 reflection the introduction of the programmable PTMCU in Packet Tracer 7.1 allows for a powerful IoT simulation environment. The use of Python as programming language also contributes for a robust platform. Challenge 1. We're asked to, um, to do this. Port Spark Fun Starter Skit Circuit 1 blinking an LED into Packet Tracer 7.1 using the PTMCU as microcontroller. So tips, you will have to port the code presented on ISK to Python. You will also have to modify the pins used on ISK to adapt to PCMCU's pin numbering system. Challenge 2. Using the concepts presented on SparkFun, Starter Kit, Circuit 1, Blinking an LED, Circuit 4, Multiple LEDs, and Circuit 5, Push Button. Use Packet Tracer 7.1 or newer to create a circuit that illuminates one of eight LEDs in sequence every time the push button is pressed. Requirements, you must use eight LEDs and they must be lined up. Every time the push button is pressed, the currently lit LED goes dark and the next one illuminates. There must only be one LED lit up at any given time. Tip, use the PTMCU as your microcontroller. So, again, I would be using my Raspberry Pi 4 to code this experiment. So, moving on, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 4 user interface so as we can as you can see i've downloaded obs studio to screen record the experiment and how i did the coding so here um this is using the thony application for the programming inside the raspberry pi 4 so here as you can see uh internet of things laboratory experiment 3 sensor in t microcontroller it says my name my cys and part one this is for blinking an led this is the code so for the first part of the code we called out the gpio for the led so we we called out the pinouts that we're going to use for this experiment also we imported the line for the sleep this is for the delay in our led for the code so for the main code red equals led 17 this means that the red led is at pin 17 while true this is the loop itself um while there is um pulse in our pin 17 in the gpio um the red led will turn on and off with a delay of one second so let's check the code if it works so for the first part of experiment 3 this is part 1 blinking led so this is the con this is the circuit it is connected to the raspberry pi 4 pins 17 and the ground so this is the pinout for the connection so this it is also connected to a 220 ohm resistor and an led so if i'm to click on run on our application in our raspberry pi as you can observe there's a blinking led with a delay of one second and now let me just stop this and I'll change the delay to a faster rate. Let's say to a value of 0 0.15. There. So 
I will just save it and click on run again and as you can see the LED blinks at a faster rate Moving on, the second part of the experiment, LED sequence using push button. So again, using the Tony application, so this is the code. I imported rpi.gpio as the GPIO pinout and also the time import sleep is still there. So this part of the code here is in terms of the GPIO setup, either it's an output or an input, so as you can see. Uh, the next part is the main code itself so there and also this so now let's check if the circuit works so for the second part of experiment 3 these are the results so if I press this button the LED should light up one by one 